Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, hi. Uh, my name is Dr. Michaels. I am the new therapist that is soon going to be starting work at Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane. So, Mr. Day, I have to ask, why calendars? Oh, it's, uh, it's rather simple, really. See, my name is Julian Day, so it's like a, like a little pun. It's a little joke. It's Julian Day. Like Julian, Ju- Julian, like July, and then the day, because like days of the week, so you know. I see. <laughs> what is it? what is that? What are you writing down? I'm actually not originally from this area. I'm a transfer from Seattle. Uh, so I actually don't have any prior knowledge of any of the patients that I'm going to be taking on. Because of this, I kind of want to have a sit-down interview with them, just to, you know, learn their backstory, learn who they were before they started seeking treatment at Arkham Asylum, and what led them to seeking treatment in the first place. And while you, a child at the time, were being held in this super high-security prison in the middle of the ocean for a crime that a father you never knew committed, you say that you had extremely intense visions of a bat creature attacking you, is that correct? You know, in my defense, I was really hooked on drugs at the time. I'm sorry? Who is it that you're replacing? Who am I replacing? Yeah. Uh, they, they didn't really tell me that on, on my first day, but um, they, they did tell me why he was fired, though. Did you just try and basic instinct me? Even if that would work, you're wearing pants. Okay, we're done. Well, uh, Dr. Morton, he's the physician that works down the hall from here. He, uh, he told me when I first came in for my interviews that, uh, the last guy got fired after they found some videos on his desktop that he had downloaded that, uh, were <clears throat> rather explicit and involved clowns. So, he told me that apparently you only make that mistake once at Arkham, and I'm not particularly sure what he meant by that. So let me get this straight. You already had a high-paying job, career, status, and a fucking doctorate, and then you became a self-proclaimed supervillain because science. Yep. That's about right, yeah. That's a rather crude way to put it, but yes. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you know, all in all, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited to get started. I really do think that I can make some, uh, some really good progress here once I meet my patients and all. <laughs> um, why? Why both? Uh, why both? No, no, it's fine, man.